the year is 1861. The Civil War is just beginning in the United States of America. The North is fighting for the abolishment of slavery, and the South is fighting for their current way of life. Maryland was a state on the edge of the South, yet still part of the North. One of her most disruptive cities was Baltimore. Baltimore held both Southern and Northern sympathizers. It was a city divided. People in Baltimore took sides in the brutal Civil War. Once sides were chosen, the people were loyal, fierce, and ready to fight to defend either the North or the South. Conflict was very real in Baltimore and was Baltimore was part of the North, but on the brink of being a Southern state. Virginia right under it had seceded. The Union and Confederate armies were just beginning to clash to start the Civil War. Down in the South, white men with land used slaves for manual labor in their fields. This was their way of life. Up in the North, abolitionists moved to free slaves. The South wanted one of their state's rights to allow them to keep their slaves. This dilemma could not be settled peacefully, and so the Civil War started with the first shots at Fort Sumter. Just a week later, after the shots at Fort Sumter, the first of Lincoln's regiments were moving through Baltimore to get to the South. By this time, Southern sympathizers in Baltimore were on edge. The fighting was about to begin, and the 6th Massachusetts regi Regiment was traveling on foot to the next rail station in Baltimore. While members of the regiment started to walk to the station, an angry crowd of Southern sympathizers started to follow the men. This group of angry people soon turned into an angry mob. Panicking, a few soldiers fired into the crowd. Chaos broke out as the soldiers tried to get to the station. The police managed to hold back the crowd at the terminal, but it only allowed for some of the soldiers to get to the station. After this riot had ended, four soldiers and 12 civilians were killed. The tension between the North and the South was at its highest, and drastic changes were about to be made in Baltimore. Baltimore was put under martial law by the Union. Benjamin F. Butler was sent to Baltimore, and troops occupied the city. Butler let all the people know that they were not allowed to do anything against the security interests of the Union. Many people that supported the South in Baltimore were thrown into jail or put onto trial. Though Butler was removed from Baltimore a few months after this first started, Baltimore stayed under martial law from the Union over the course of the whole Civil War. Being under this law angered many citizens of Baltimore. They had outbursts of burning railroads and telephone lines and did not seem to care if they were to be jailed. The love for the South continued whether there was martial law or not. During the Civil War, Baltimore was the third largest city in the nation. Baltimore held many resources such as transportation and goods. Baltimore had a harbor and various tracks with rail stations. Though important, the wealth that Baltimore provided caused tension. Baltimore was needed for the Union troops to travel down to the South to fight. The rail system in Baltimore was crucial to the rest of the nation. Baltimore Harbor was prosperous in Baltimore. The harbor allowed for goods to be shipped all over the country and across the Atlantic Ocean. Baltimore was a city that provided many resources for the side that had control of it. It was a Unfortunately for the city, prosperity came with a price. Women whose husbands or sons fought for the South would sneak resources across enemy lines. War impacted the city of Baltimore. This city was on the edge of both the North and the South and had residents that believed in two very different ideas. The Baltimore riots and its continuous conflict and tension caused trouble in Baltimore. The causes of tension were the riot and the bitter hatred between the North and the South. The effects included the misuse of resources and martial law in Baltimore. The belief in the South's and North's principle was, was very strong in the Civil War. One wanted to end slavery, and the other wanted slavery to remain. This disagreement caused great conflict and caused tension that extended to places and even in Baltimore. A war this large can affect every person in every city. The war was fought on battlefields such as Gettysburg or Antietam, yet the war was also fought in the city of Baltimore.